All right, welcome back to Friday Night Gaming. You're here with Dan and Darren. Hi. What's up, everybody? We are. Um, I, was, hey. I was speaking for them. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this is the best time of the year. We're getting into the Halloween season. It's the perfect time for horror games. Yeah, you know, are there any? Are there anything? Is there anything exciting coming out this month? Uh, yeah. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, oh, is there? <laughs> I don't know. I've been looking. So well, it's funny you say that because, well, I might as well. We might as well say I'm gonna start doing like probably like weekly, maybe even a couple times a week. On like we're gonna do streams, or I am of like indie horror games. I might call in through Discord. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll see if we have time. Yeah, I don't have time. I don't have time to do it. So it's awesome. I actually, I'm actually happy you're gonna live stream. Well, yeah, it's one one way like we can actually talk to our, our all our people. You know. Well, that, we have Discord as well. We do have Discord as well. But it's like, and also I want to play some of these games and. You know, there's the mainstream games, but, you know, those are big titles that come out, like, you know, far, few and far between. But there's a million of these little indie horror games. Some of them are, like, years old, and I'll, I'll talk about it when we go through. But there's there's one I'm going to be playing today, I think, that's from 2022. But it's, like, as long as it's still scary, like, and it's they're stupid. You know, they, they don't look, like, perfect. They're kind of pixelated and stuff, but they're fun. No, you can find some diamonds in the rough. You know, like just just because it's not a popular game doesn't mean it's not good. And there are a lot of these scary games that are fun to play. That yeah. I've, like there's things I've seen and I've never like heard of except for like I just saw some random video on it. I'm like, wait, this game exists? Well, and the reason I I want to do is I used to watch people play this stuff all the time, like these type of games, and it's just intriguing. I don't know why it sucks me in. I'm excited for you to play some games so I can see what they're about. Yes, yeah, so if you haven't on our YouTube channel, it sounded like I, it sounded like I didn't believe that. I really, I really was excited. I'm not trying to like plug it. <laughs> yeah, so if you haven't yet on the YouTube, first of all, subscribe. I mean, come on, but turn on the bell notifications, and you won't miss the live stream. So, anyways, but let's talk about what we're going to go over today, and we're going to go over Rush Week. Now that we've had some time to digest, we'll see how we feel about it. Yeah, we'll let you know soon. Yeah, you may, opinions may have changed. They could have stayed the same or got worse. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go over actually an indie horror game, Shotgun Roulette, that I played. I put out a members only video. So we'll talk about that. Predator Hunting Grounds. And then we're just going to talk some TCM. Went over some Reddit comments, different things, some issues in the game, that kind of stuff. Cool. All right. Before we get into it, special thanks to all you members. Help this podcast keep going. And an even specialer thanks to Mello, our new Friday Night Faithful member. Oh, thanks, Mello. Yep. Good to have you. So. Let's get into some comments. Again, we're trying to get this thing to grow on the pl uh, podcast platform. If you guys could please leave reviews, like hit five star on Spotify or on Apple. And if you actually leave a comment, we will read it on here. Yeah. And we're actually on Apple. We're almost up to 20, which is a big deal. Which <laughs> means some of you guys, you guys are doing awesome. Yeah, so thank, thank you. you. <laughs> so this first comment is from her first comment. First uh, you review. Com review with a comment. Yeah. It's from Darkwing Dunk. <laughs> well, you love the name. You guys rock. Do your thing, cuz. Do your thing, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that may be my favorite comment. If you guys don't know, that's from TCM 3D, which was a great line. I, I miss those times now watching those old Texas Chainsaw movies. I know. Now we've moved on to other movies, but whatever. It's... It won't be forgotten. No. Special, special moment in our lives. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is funny. Okay. So we always take a member clip and put it on here as well. It just so happened. I didn't even plan this, but it's Dark Queen Dunk's member video. Dude, he's an all-star right now. <laughs> I know. Uh, all-star member here. So this one is called Motorboating Hitch. And I'm sure you guys have seen a few of these because... Hitchhiker's new animation is, uh, well, it's interesting, right? Well, yeah, you realize, well, we think right from the get-go, it looks odd because he's you know, he cuts the chest open and he, you know, he does his thing with the blood. Well, he sticks his face in there. He eats up, you know? Yeah, <laughs> well, and now, depending on where the animation starts, we're going to see. There's some interesting things that can happen. <laughs> oh, he's, so he's going for Connie. Good Gets job. Her. Oh. A little shank. Oh, man, that oh. pull-up is brutal. It is a brutal kill. Up and he's getting in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta be honest. I, mean, I love it. Good clip, Darkwing Dunk. Uh, dude, these they did a really good job with these executions. Uh, but it's funny we're showing this because they're we're gonna be showing another hitchhiker one that is well, it's similar, but uh, maybe. A little different. It looks it looks <laughs> suspect. <laughs> Very. Dude, well, suspect. you said it though. Give him credit. Uh, 
they a TCM guide. They've done a great job with these executions. Like that one, even the way they stab and pull up, man, that is freaking brutal. Yeah, they did a good job uh, with executions. They, they will no here. Here's the thing. We'll we'll we'll, they'll, we'll they have their time here. That's coming up in a second. But <laughs> they've done a great job, though. Again, we talked about when we watched what was that movie recently? Oh, uh, Friday the Thirteenth Part Two. Dude, they've done such a good job of integrating the, or the movie and the game and meshing them. Like in the game, it looks like the movie. And now the movie looks like the game. <laughs> you're trying. That's a different game, though. You're just you just want to get. I'm just saying, Friday gun in general. Same, but same thing with TCM. It's like if you watch TCM, that freaking family house looks like the same house that you're playing. Oh no, for sure they've done some. They've done. They do a real good job of nailing the overall ambiance. Oh, dude, and such setting a good the job. scene of the game, updating and keeping the community informed. Maybe not so well. No, that's a different <laughs> thing. <laughs> hey, we'll get over it. All right, let's move on to some current gameplay. So, obviously, TCM Rush Week, we did a live stream. You guys kind of saw, or hopefully you saw what I went through with that. I mean, it, it was fun. Like, I liked, well, okay, wait, hold on. Let me be real. Well, didn't it we was already, okay. We already talked about that last pod, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I just, just made sure. No, I'm just saying, like, I, I'm just giving an overview of my, uh, okay. like, it was, I would say, like, four or five games, I had a good time, and then I got bored. Now, Darren, what's your current gameplay here? So I wanted to, I played specifically to play a few games of Rush Week and then go back to the main mode just so I could compare and contrast. And I just want to play TCM. I was in the mood that day. So I jumped into Rush Week and actually I had, I had a lot of fun for a few games. <laughs> so what happened, you know, I was victim. Here's the thing. I don't think Johnny's fun. When I play as killer, I don't find that as fun. I did like for one time, I kind of trying to please the objectives but after i did that a few times i was like i'm over i just don't like doing it i don't think it's fun i don't think johnny's unique we'll talk about that are we gonna go into that later um yeah we're gonna talk a little bit about it because okay, i have some other th ways i think they could improve it or what maybe they should have done this is your tcm gameplay yeah, talk, yeah which is fine and i totally get what you're saying because like you need i mean honestly what's your skill as johnny to run and slash there's not like a whole lot of like uh what do you call it skill yeah. involved i don't know <laughs> yeah anyways, that's a different whatever but then i was playing as victim and it was fun I, you know I did, I did the attic escape and then one time this actually got me is I, I got the attic escape down i got the ladder down i'm about to climb up and johnny hit me and it actually startled me and i was like oh and even after i might have even said out loud like oh that was fun like <laughs> but um, but then it's just i played a couple more games of victim and it just not there's not much there I just get kind of bored even if i escape it just again the whole thing there's no stakes bro and i'm not 99 yet so i'm like well i don't want to waste time in this rush week i'd rather play the main mode to get myself up to 99 dude if i wasn't that literally 90, is my thought if i wasn't 99 i'd be in the main game mode all the time yeah yeah i wouldn't even mess around with this dude and someone else said it too it is insanely long like it takes so long to get to 99 and I honestly think they did that because they knew once you hit 99, nothing's going to happen. And we're not planning on doing anything for a long time. <laughs> Apparently we have a, we have a whole video we made on the side that Darren's going to be working on. We'll probably put it out. Shoot. Well, it'll be out by the time you guys hear this. Oh yeah. And I mean, you should give it a watch. It legit. We talk about the way that the skill cap increase was like discussed and how long it's been. And the lack of updates. It basically has been almost a year that they announced that they're working on it. Right. And it's whatever. We don't we don't need to get into all that. But anyways, so then I went to the main mode. I played as Hitch. I just did quick match, but of course did Thursday and Family the whole time. And I had a lot of fun actually, because I was just putting my traps in random spots, like in the grass. And there's nothing more satisfying than getting those trap like the traps, you know, trapping the victims as Hitch. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I had fun. It was cool, but the I mean, the main mode still to me is way better than the rush week. It's not even close. Yeah, but it, it's still the main mode is very very stale right now. Yeah. So I've been playing. You know, I've been playing a little bit of level zero. What? One last thing. Lobbies. Lo obviously, rush week lobbies were really fast, and immediately when I went to the TC at the three v four mode, lobbies were brutal. So yeah, again, brutal. that is a very common thing that has never been addressed or fixed. I uh, know. In fact, they said they didn't know how at one point. <laughs> I mean, now I, I honestly just think it's a player thing. There's not enough people playing family. Well, it could be that, but also like you see the issues they have. I mean, when they launched Rush Week, the lobbies were bugged out just because they had that. I think it had something to do with choosing Coed or Johnny. You can just tell they just have issues like creating, like understanding how that works, I guess. I don't even know. 
Uh, I don't know either. Um, you know what's funny is we used to be like defenders, like not even defenders, just kind of like the optimists, like oh, you know, whatever. You know, I get uh, it. It's hard. They have a they have a lot on their plate. Now I'm like, I think just we we've seen a pattern of behavior, and I'm just addressing that pattern of just not having things finished, not following through. Well, it's just buggy. again. It's like yeah, you can be optimistic, but like. Yeah, when they've told you, I mean, how many times have we heard they're working on things? They're working on it. Like, stay tuned, working on it. And it never, never, nothing happens. So it's like, yeah, at some point, you just got to be like, okay, they're just not doing it. Yeah, it's so, true. Anyways, we'll talk more about them later. Uh, level zero extraction. So I'm kind of at a weird spot with this game. I feel, okay, I feel a similar way. So I've been playing quite a bit, and I suck. As I'm, like, horrible at that game. Like, it, maybe it's just because I don't put as much time as I should into it. I don't know. Well, but, any, any of those online shooters, dude. It's well, see, tough. I started playing Tarkov, and I actually had to stop because I could feel myself being pulled into it. Like, it was becoming too fun. You did that again recently? No, no. Oh, okay. No, that's old. And this, this Level Zero is a similar type of game. The problem is I'm not pulled that much into it because the gunplay and stuff in it, it's not as built out. So, and also... Level zero, like half the game, you can't see anything. It's true. Like you're playing in the dark and that's kind of like part of the tactic. It's like when you're playing mercenary, you want to be in the dark. If you turn your flashlight, other merc mercenaries can see you and you usually die. Um, but I've kind of got to the point where I'm like, I don't know if it's, I don't, I mean, I, I don't know if I just want to put the time into even be decent at it. <laughs> yeah. Like you realize it's going to take a lot of work just to even get decent and you don't want to, if you want to do that. Exactly. And then I was like, that's where I was getting these indie games. And I'm like, dude, I think I'd rather just mess around and have fun, like on a lower key game. I do, I do like online multiplayers, but right now, nothing's like pulling me in hard. Like, here's the thing. Yeah. When TCM came out, there's a level of excitement when you play it. And it's so, it was so different and unique. Same exact thing I felt with the Friday the 13th. Yeah, they nailed both of them. Yeah, like I was excited. I was telling my friends, I'm like, dude, we got to play this. I got to get people into the game. You know, and again, TCM, same way. Yeah, I don't feel that way about anything right now. I like playing TCM occasionally. I still think the game's fun, but I'm like so down on <laughs> Rush Week crushed my soul. <laughs> yeah, we'll get in. We're, we got to save the but, TCM but, talk uh, for later. Yeah, let's go back. Uh, I feel the same way about or a similar way about extraction. It is. I do think that the idea is fun, but I don't find myself really wanting to play that anymore, which is funny because we talk about it. This is just the way the podcast is going to go. Guys, mm -hmm. we try things out. It's like predator. We were really excited about it. We try it out. And then it's like, after a few weeks, you're like, yeah, it's just not really working. It's we're going to be talking prayer. It's making a resurgence again. Well, hey, and I'm, and I'm we'll down to try it <laughs> and I'm down to try it again because you know, what's funny. Our kids liked it. My, yeah. my son, I don't, I don't feel weird saying his name on here, but yeah, you should. We'll call him Jay. Why don't you just say your son? You <laughs> my don't son. say your name. Who cares? Uh, but he, maybe your wife and son. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe. But the, he talked about. It. He's like, why don't you guys play that game anymore? And I'm like, well, it just kind of got old. But he liked it. I personally think it's not that bad. Like, I think the gameplay and stuff is kind of fun. It's just there's some, well, we'll talk about it. We, we're actually talking about Predator today. All so right, we'll get there. Later. So let me jump to, I'm going to be playing this today on stream. And again, this already came out. If you guys heard if, uh, or, or listening to this, it's out on live stream. You can go back and watch it. Maybe just hit a like button. I don't know. Don't ask for much. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so this next game, it's called Stay Out of the House. And this is a game. It, it's a puppet combo. That's a developer. It's like a common developer. Wait, wait, wait. So you're going to play this today? Yeah. Oh, sick. Okay. So this is an older game that came out. <laughs> yeah, guys, by the way, I'm not aware of anything about this. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Darren's like, I'm going to be the retro or not retro, the indie horror game guy. Darren's going to be like the guy we're introducing this to. I'm just the guy on the outside watching through the window. <laughs> they're, they're unique games though. So it's a puppet combos, the developer, and they have like a whole bunch of these type of games. Okay. So, and they're not expensive. They're like cheap, but most of them are like steam games. You know, I'm just going to say this. This is getting me excited to play some games again. Maybe maybe we just need to take a step away from multiplayer. <laughs> well, that's what I'm doing. I'm like, I'm going to play some of these like and chill while we, and we'll still cover everything, but it's like, I'm not going to, here's the thing, just because I like, like I do love TCM. I'm not going to sit there and play it just because like it's our game we cover all the time. Like 
I don't want to sit there and play it for hours and hours. I want to play other stuff. And it's simply, I just want to play what's fun. I want to there play something go. that gets me excited and I makes me feel something inside. <laughs> <laughs> so this stay out of the house, let, let me, I'll read a little description. Stay out of the house, a realistic serial killer escape sim. You've been kidnapped and held captive in a cannibal butcher's house. And it's only a matter of time until your dinner. Escape however you can. The house, the living sandbox with multiple possibilities. Will you rescue the other victims or save yourself? Will you hide in the shadows and slip away undetected or turn the tables using the butcher knife own traps against him? Huh. Butcher's own, own traps, not the butcher knife. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's no knife actually in that sentence. The butcher's own traps against him. The choices are yours and the AI will react to them dynamically. Oh, that's kind of cool. Dun. So, but it's it, it's only you. There's no other role players in the game. Correct. And you can choose to save other victims. By the way, he won't. No, you might. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I think the, I think here's how here's how I feel about these situations. You got to save yourself first. Well, yeah. I mean, you're the, you know? you're the, you're a real person. <laughs> if if I feel like I need to escape, I'm gonna have to. Maybe I'll maybe I'll try it again and not escape. You know. Yeah, so so you're trapped in a house. What does the house look like? Do you know? Well, I think it looks like this image here, which is it's very just kind of grainy. Oh yeah, all these all these games are very like they're they're cheap games. It's like that uh, that granny game almost. Do you remember yeah, that? that? Yeah, they're, they're, yeah, they're all similar. To Dude, that. you know what though? I liked those games. Hey, like guess uh, the what? kids played them, and they're fun. I'm gonna drop some knowledge. If it's a fun game and the gameplay's fun. The looks are secondary sometimes. Oh, yeah, for sure. Well, some of my favorite games are old games, and I still enjoy playing them, like Super Nintendo stuff. They don't look the best, but, dude, they work. They're yeah. fun. Legend of Zelda, get out of here. Come on. Get out of here. All right, <laughs> next game we're going to talk about. Okay, this is Buckshot Roulette, all right? I did a I did a full gameplay. Uh, I did a full gameplay, actually, for our Different members. members yeah. For members only, I put it out there. Wait, do we, I don't know if we said this now. If you join and become a member, not only do you get early access, but now you're getting you're primarily probably videos from you. These yeah, we'll plays. do we'll do both our gameplays together, and I'll I'll probably do more of my stuff on there too. Yeah, we just just to give you more content, honestly. Yeah, like I might even do like playthroughs. I don't know, it depends. I know there's some people that like playthroughs and stuff. So and as well, dude, you can leave comments. You can leave questions, not comments. We have a dedicated on the Discord server, which you can be a part of. You can leave questions for us and game uh, play clips as well. Yes, yes. Okay. Done. Plug done. <laughs> Plug done. Buckshot roulette. All right. This is developed by Mike Klubnikia. <laughs> Dude, I just totally missed my mouth. When I saw I you. <laughs> Klubnika. Mike Klubnika. It's Critical Reflex is the publisher. It's, so this is a two ninety nine game. All right. Oh, cool. Yeah, this came out relatively recently, April fourth, two thousand twenty four. Okay. So it's a newer game. It's an indie game, and it's different, very unique. So what it is, you're playing a Russian roulette with a twelve gauge shotgun. Two enters, one leaves. Roll the dice with your life. Good luck. What? So you start up. In like you're in like a club almost, but you're in the, like the catwalk upstairs. You start in like a like a grimy like a grungy bathroom, and you make your way into this room where there's a guy sitting across the table from you with a shotgun. You sit down. You have to sign a waiver, and then you get straight into the game. Basically, you each get like so many lives, and there's a shotgun. So is the other person real? No, it's AI. Oh, okay. So what it does is there's different levels. You'll progress through the game. It starts off and it'll show you like three shotgun shells. One's a live round, two are like blanks. It'll, they'll load them in what, randomly. What, what, what kind of game did you get yourself into? <laughs> it, it's a gambling game. I don't know. What made you choose? This isn't even like a scary game. It's just roulette. Well, it's, roulette. Yeah. Well, it's like buckshot roulette. I mean, it's like gruesome. Well, I mean, there's not there. You don't really see anything. It's like a big flash, you know. Okay. But that's I mean, the thing. It's the ultimate game, the ultimate gamble. One might say. I guess. Okay. So, did you enjoy this? It wasn't bad for like three bucks. Like I don't know. You can look and see if it's for you, but it's different. So there's there's different things too. It's not just as simple as that. So you get the shotgun. Now it always starts with you. You can either shoot the dealer, the other guy, or you can try to play the odds and take the bullet yourself right right 
So with I know, that, I'm almost like, can we even talk about this game on, <laughs> on YouTube? <laughs> so here, let me go over some I'm items. I'm judging the heck out of you too. <laughs> yeah. So let me go over some of the items you get because that'll kind of explain. There's more to the game than just like randomness, right? I mean, that is a huge part of it. But I mean, I hope so. You can get beer cans, which can eject a cartridge. You can get a magnifying glass so you can look in and see what's in the chamber. So see if it's a blank or a live round. You can look, uh, that is that. Then you can get a knife, which is like double the damage, I guess. Like, because you have like lightning bolts for your lives. So if you use a knife, it'll take two like little lives off. Okay. It's kind of confusing, but that's how it is. Uh, I understand the gist of it. I don't need to know. Yeah. Handcuffs will skip the turn of the other guy. You can switch the polarity of the shell. So basically, if you know it's a blank, you can make it a live round. These are all items like you get like a couple at a time. And then you can also like steal items from the other player. Okay. So it adds in a lot of like there's strategy involved with the randomness. Oh, right. I mean that does sound cool. So like oh, yeah. like what you can do like because let's say the guy you have four lives he has two left. You look you look in the chamber you see it's a blank round. You can just switch the polarity, make it a live round, shoot him. Or if you know if you've like counted it and you know the rest of the rounds are live, you can use like the knife to make it double the double the kill so then you shoot him and it'll drop him down anyways there's a whole lot you can do as far as like it's all about odds you know what i mean how far did you get through the game well i beat it but that's the thing you beat it and then it unlocks uh double or nothing and then it turns into like basically it's like a grind for how many points you want you know uh, what i okay. mean oh well, i mean so, for a 299 one i mean honestly for 299 at one playthrough if you have fun it's worth it did you have fun yeah, I did. I thought I liked the at least I, I had mean, fun trying to figure out the items and trying to like better the odds, you know. I'm legit gonna have to watch your video as well as our members should as well. Yes. As well as our members should well, as well. Yeah, some did. So I don't know if they liked it, but <laughs> <laughs> it's no, a weird that's cool. Game. I'll, dude, the, you've got I should thank you because you've got me into this thinking about other games now. Yes, You're so you're focused well. on like TCM, which I love, but it's like there's other just uh, non multiplayers. I miss playing like solo games. I know that's, that's what, what we used to do. Well, that's why it's like it's nice to talk about other games, you know. Yeah, I enjoy just listening to you. And you got anything else you want to talk about? Well, next time I'll be talking about whatever the game I said I was going to well, play. Well, since they're in, game. since they're indie, sorry, I keep cutting you off. Since they're indie, I'll buy some of these and play them too if they're cheaper. I just don't want to spend like thirty bucks on every week on a game, right? Oh no, they're cheap. most of these games are like that's two ninety nine. Yeah. Like, hey, wait, by the way, guys, if you have games you want us to play or him to play, like drop us a comment. Let us know. Well, I'm pretty sure that's a family membership. Like you can tell us what to play. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so if you, any of our family members put it on there, but anybody can put it out there and I'll take like, I'll take advice. But you know it's what like I mean? a scale, right? Like if you're a family scale, I mean, member, you're probably going to play whatever they you're, say. You're all important. You, you know can what I mean, control but... him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right. Let's talk about Predator Hunting Ground. So they came out with a new update. And what I guess it came out to like console and stuff. Oh, like the game. Yeah, they talked about it. Oh, it's at PS5 now? Or is that what it is? Because it was on the old gen, right? I thought it was already on PS5, but I don't know. Well, yeah, here, I'm just going to read the patch notes because I don't really know. I just noticed, like, people were playing, like, Slash and Cast was playing it. And I'm like, why are they playing? And then I looked, and there's, like, a whole new patch that came out for it. Did they seem to like it? Uh, I only watched, like, a minute of it. Oh, I'm okay. going to be honest. Like, I don't know. It's, it's kind of, it's a fun game. Well, okay. I was not really that interested until I just saw it what we're going to talk about right now. Yeah. And I did, like I said, I played it a little bit. Okay. So I'll give you like my take on it. Cause it felt better. So let me just go over the patch update first. So HD engine and graphics update. Predator hunting grounds, ninth generation. Well, now it's ninth generation update. I don't know what that means, but okay. Okay. Available for PS five, Xbox series X and S and PC. So these players will be seeing improvements to graphics, textures, and lighting with all new race, ray tracing feature. Experience the jungle like never before with enhanced VFX across full HK. Basically, it's going to look better, all right? Yeah, I do. Well, which, that's what I'm excited about because the old, old game, I mean, it was made a long time ago. It just didn't look very good. Yeah, it looks better. Uh, can we talk about the gameplay? Let me finish this, yeah. <laughs> Cross-platform. So with the ninth generation, they, they love seeing this ninth generation update. You'll be able to play with uh, friends across next-gen platform without being limited to single ecosystems. So 
It must you must not have been able to play cross platform before. I can't focus because this predator's got like a ten pack. Oh, dude, this guy, dude, well, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven pack. Dude, one, two. Th- that there's a, a questionable top pack. Above well, and that. even the bottom's hard to tell. Yeah, this, this thing goes ripped. on forever. <laughs> this is like, uh, oh my gosh, now my brain. Brad Pitt in Fight Club. Wow, that was, <laughs> that was hard to listen to. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so there also features the feral predators here. That's the rip dude, apparently. So the cross the cross bolt gun fires fast moving guided cross bolt arrows that pierce through targets. That sounded like a damage. Sound like a baby trying to read. Well, it's because like, where did that cross bolts come from? <laughs> it's like a, just a random thought. There's oh, feral that... predator and crossbow. Oh, it must be his. So guy. he must have a crossbow. Okay, so whatever. There's a feral pe- predator. They have a bunch of improvements like haptic feedback, player level display, and part and parties. Uh, it looks like a lot of like quality of life stuff. Uh, we don't need to go through. Yeah, a lot of game. They basically just did a huge. Well, update. here I'll read the gameplay because there's only three. Increased health ammo crates, medical stations, improvements to collision on which on various destructible mission objects. Which I appreciate that. Uh, adjustment improved the timing interactions of NPC soldiers camps alarms I mean to me it was always the feel of like shooting didn't work right and I want to know what you think after you played it it's it's better I will say like so I played it and dude we got destroyed though I'm like a baby in the game like when you know how it's one of those games where if you haven't played it like and there's the guys that are into it they just destroy you. Like the uh, prayer yeah. killed our entire team. Of course. Yeah. He's probably been around since day one. And then afterwards he was like, he, he legit was like, wow, guys. Like that's <laughs> it's like, that didn't go so well. You know, like he was like, he was disappointed that we sucked so bad. Yeah. But so, wait. So, but you think it feels a lot better. I feel like the shooting felt better. I think they added stuff in. Like there was like a quick, quick access screen to like scroll through your equipment. Like you can, I don't know. It felt way better. Like, I think it's worth us, like, giving a shot. Oh, I'm down to try it. You know what? That'll be our next gameplay. We'll put a video out for members, too. Yeah. Um, So look forward to that, because, I mean, TCM's great, but I'm there's not. I'm kind of just whatever. Until something comes out, I'm not really thrilled. We don't need to play it together. We can if we want. But this game, I don't know. I'm willing to give it a shot. Yeah. Yeah. We'll check it out. So uh, one thing I did have a problem with Predator I tried to play as Predator. I had like a 10 minute wait and it like I just left. Oh. Um, but playing as Fire Team, I got it in like a minute. Well, there you go. So I'm cool. I'm cool with that. All right. So this is a little this is a little out there. I don't know if uh this is something we're gonna be covering too often, but <laughs> old Fortnite's got a uh, Leatherface in it, huh? Dude, I just saw this and I'm like, that is hilarious. I mean, talk, here's the thing. I actually like Fortnite. I haven't played it in shoot. I haven't really played in probably a year or so. We yeah, we used to play it all the time. We don't have to admit back that. Back in the BR. Hey, what's wrong with playing that? I'm just saying. This is, this is a real podcast. We keep it real. <laughs> <laughs> we used to play it all the time with friends. We'd be back with the BR craze and all that yeah. junk. And it's great. But, dude, talk about how good Fortnite does in their updates. They're freaking bringing Leatherface for the Halloween update. Well, dude, they how always fun. they always know the Halloween updates. Like, they're... That's the thing about what makes Fortnite so good. They're constantly updating and they're on with the times. So like they know Halloween's coming. Boom. We got Leatherface in the game. Like, well, you're right. They, yeah. There's going to be pumpkins. The ambiance is going to be there. It'll be fun. Dude, which makes the game so much fun. Like it makes, honestly, hearing this makes me want to play. I'm not going to, but it makes me want to play the game. If I was a kid, I for sure would. <laughs> but that's just funny that they even got Leatherface in there. I was just surprised to see that because Leatherface isn't really like one of the big horror movie villains. He is like, he's kind of like a, he seems kind of like more of a niche horror. That is kind of funny. You're right. And I wonder why they got him in there because it is, it's, it's, it's kind of a strange, you got to be into like those type of movies and stuff. Yeah. For example, I was, we always, when we grew up, it was like Freddy, it was Chucky, it was Friday the 13th. TCM wasn't even really on our radar. You'd heard about it, but it seemed like a niche. Like, I, I don't know. I thought there was only like one movie. Yeah. It wasn't, honestly, it wasn't until this, the game came out where I became a fan of the movies. Yeah. And even at that, I'm still like, I still like other movie series better. But <laughs> <laughs> anyways, I just think it's cool that they put uh, Bubba in there. Yeah. All right. Let's move on to some TCM talk. So to start it out, we're going to start off with a couple of, uh, well, one fun clip in particular. This is 
from uh, the Texas Chainsaw Game Reddit, not the official one, the the bad boys out there. <laughs> yeah, this is the troublemakers who, go, who half of them got booted out of the main <laughs> one. <laughs> so this is by Shay999, Hitchhiker White. And we have Hitchhiker Approaching Leland. And I actually sent this to Dan. <laughs> So he's killing a- Leland on the stairs. So Hitchhiker is a little lower than Leland. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Well, that is one of the greatest finishers I've seen. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know what to say. For our listeners, it was Leland. Leland was up high. Hitch was down low. And he had to bend down to do the finishing move on him. Do you imagine what that probably looked like? It, I mean, he was going to town. Yeah, his head was shaking back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, dude, that so was funny. one of my favorite clips. What? <laughs> I honestly thought, I'm like, did they plan that? You know, like, did someone say, hey, what if I, I'm Leland, I go up high, did and you kill me? To answer that, absolutely. I think they probably absolutely. did. And I don't and even care. What? It was hilarious. Yeah, I like this one, too. So this is by What's, okay. what's Up, The Great. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, that's... That was it. <laughs> well, what, well, I was going to say, but well, you're... What we're going to see with Johnny, if you didn't know, when you play Rush Week, there's a phone. You know you're a serial interrupter. Bro, I've been interrupting you like crazy today. I do agree. Is that normal? Do pretty, I always I do that? I would say that's pretty normal. You guys can let us know in the comments. I got I to gotta stop doing that. I could tell you because I edit the audio and I, you're always overlapped, like... When I'm talking, it's like before I finish, you're already jumped in, you know? Well, the funny thing is when it gets to me, I don't notice an over when I'm editing the video. I don't notice it. Well, you wouldn't because I delete the audio. Oh, well, there you go. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, here, go ahead. Okay, so this is Was Up the Great, and then I love the title. Useless fact, you can perform the Fusebox turnoff interaction as Johnny in Rush Week. It does absolutely nothing, though. So this is really funny because I played as Johnny, and I, I, I found this out, too. I didn't know it didn't do anything, though. Because I thought, oh, it's cool, because when if you guys didn't know, when you play the game as a victim, you have to turn the fuse back box on, and then the phone is active, so then you can call out, right? Yeah. So when I was Johnny, I, I, I'm i aware of this, and I saw the victims turn the fuse back box on, so I'm like, okay, I'll go shut it off. Well, it comes to find out it doesn't do anything at all. And I did notice the same thing. When you shut it off, nothing happens. Yeah, I, I did the same thing, too. And I was like, oh, d- you would think it would shut it off for the phone, because that's how a fuse box works. But- Dude. Yet Apparently again, not. how annoying is it that they have this stuff in this game that just broke and you you don't know it until someone on Reddit tells you. <laughs> yeah, until the Reddit chads out here. But uh, chads. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there you guys go. If you if you're Johnny, don't even worry about shutting the fuse box off. I guess so. Once they turn on, there's no point to even monitor. That's just the again. That's the problem. With the whole game mode. It's like there's no like features that make it like interesting here yeah, we'll, we'll get there we're gonna go in more into it right sure okay well let's start off with an uh, issue here from beautiful educator to cook marking dead bodies and we have a developer response so this is a reddit comment so i always love when the developers respond and i just want to say this one hit home for me because i'm pretty much a cook main and this is the most infuriating thing that's been in the game for so long okay so cook has been marking dead bodies since execution pack three with the release of Execution Pack 4, he's now marking dead bodies for all family executions. This in turn makes it difficult for Cook to locate victims who are alive. The tagging animation for his ability is just going all over the place, and then you finally realize the body is dead. Cook, at this state of the game, serves no purpose other than his locks. It sucks that every single execution from Execution Pack 4 makes this bug exist, and if they plan to implement further executions, this will continue to happen. I'd recommend not to run any of those executions since they hurt the team in the long run. RIP to all cook mains out there. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't think he's useless, but he's, but whoever wrote this is right. There's nothing more infuriating, and it does kill his power when you're marking dead bodies. Yeah, th- that's like a huge issue to me. Well, you can't use his ability because it constantly you'll see the you'll go to the dead body every time because you just don't realize that it's not a person. Yeah, well, it is. It's just a dead, a dead person. person. Yeah, that's a huge issue. So Andy responded, and again, I'm not trying to bash Andy. He's just, he's the middleman. No, I like the community reps. I understand what their purpose is. Yeah, but his response, they're starting to get a little tiresome. Our team is aware of the issue. We've communicated the bug with the proper folks. Cook his dog on too old for this type of nonsense. Okay, that's kind of funny. That was good. But <laughs> it's like, again, the bugs are always communicated. It's like, 
Do we have to wait a whole month to get it done? Well, yeah, because you have to. If it even comes this next month. This like this this uh, individual who posted this said it's been in the game for so long and it's been a, just so annoying. I didn't even realize it was tied to the executions you do. Do you know what bugs me? It bugs me. <laughs> <laughs> what bugs me is that like a lot of these bugs, it's like they always are like, oh, submit a ticket. It's like, do you guys like not know any of this exists? It feels like that. Yeah, I don't know how it works, but you're right. It's like, do, why do I have to submit it? Don't we all know? Is then, this common knowledge? Well, and then people submit tickets, and it's like, it takes forever to get these things fixed. Like, their rate of fixing them is so bad. Like, it, you're going to wait, like, weeks, months, year. I, I don't even know. Dude, I just keep going back to when they decided to go every two, or instead, of, they went off their every two-week fix schedule. God, that really killed it. Well, that it just really feels, killing the game. it just gives the feeling that, like, it's dead. It does feel that way because for the first time, I will say this. I haven't felt this way before, but I'm starting to feel like it's possible this game, they might just like abandon development sometime mid next year or something. Well, it's they've uh, well here. We're going to get hold on. We got a I got a couple other things I want to talk about because I think I put it down here with their communication issues (laughs) because that's part of it. Uh, I just wanted to say rush week. Let's talk about that real quick. Sure. So I didn't know this, but someone left a comment. Rush Week's actually based on a slasher film. Or there is, sorry, there's a slasher film named Rush Week. And it follows a plot story of a sorority member investigating a series of underreported missing person cases on her college campus. Oh, okay, cool. Anyways, just side note, there is a movie called Rush Week. And more of the Rush Week problems. And then we'll get into the bigger issues. Uh you there's Johnny DC problem. Yeah, so I was looking through Reddit. I like to keep updated with the people, see what's going on. Honestly, I wanted to see other people's opinion of Rush Week because I have a very strong opinion. I was just kind of getting a feel for how it is. And honestly, I see both sides. I see a lot more probably negative, but that's kind of probably usual per online. <laughs> but anyways, uh, one of the biggest problems right now is Johnny's DCing because people don't want to play as Johnny. And they do or don't have a way to mitigate that because there's a, I don't know if you've seen, there's actually a bubble that comes up and you can say, I prefer to play co-ed, uh-huh. but it's like random when that comes up. I don't like, I've got it before. I don't know if it even works. Oh, it's not there all the time. Right. And, and on top of that, even if they, so whatever, not only are people like DCing cause they play as Johnny. Well, actually they are. That's just the fact they still haven't fixed the issue with that. Like, Hey, we should probably penalize people for DC in the game. Yeah, we don't even need to touch that. We're so far. We have so many issues bigger than that one right now. I don't know. That's but that that's now that issue that they've decided not to touch has now propagated over to Rush Week, and now it's an issue here. It's like I, well, I heard that there was a bug too with Johnny, like on console or something that like it would DC them on, and it's not even them doing it. You well. When we were uh, live streaming, someone said that when you're Johnny, there's a, a visual bug and there was a way to get around it. I forget how. I've never gotten it before. So they were saying, they were speculating maybe that's why people are DCing. They got this visual bug. They're like, well, I can't play. I'm not going to just sit in here for. Well, and it's weird too because there are times where it's like when I played where I couldn't not be Johnny. Like it seems like people get in. I watched someone else where they got on like a streak of being Johnny, like a bunch in a row. It's almost like it's not completely random. I don't even know, man. Uh, Who knows? But that's that's one of the issues. But here's another one. So this is by Dylanix Ox. <laughs> so this is uh, confused with Rush Week. Devs, please respond. Has anyone else noticed the missing new Johnny voice lines or wonder why victims no longer scream when they're killed? We were also promised more information about what happened to Johnny, but we haven't seen any update yet. Could the devs please provide some clarification to these issues? And that hasn't gotten a response yet. Well, so a couple of things there in the intro that for sure is missing lines. Yeah. We, I, we rant about this in our video that has come out. Well, it came out now. Yeah. yeah now it's out. But, but yeah, so there was supposed to be, there's supposed to be lines in the intro. Clearly. I mean, I don't even know necessarily Johnny just, there's definitely just little stuff missing from that intro, but I don't know if Johnny's supposed to talk during the game. Someone, I read something where someone said like, I don't think he's supposed to be talking. Really? Uh, that's what I read. I don't even know if that's real, but it doesn't even matter. It's like, dude, again, 
this rush week it was so incomplete. Again, the big warning sign, two extra days to work on it. Not a good sign ever. Well, dude, it's like you took two extra days and the freaking intros bugged. Like, how do you not? I wouldn't even put that out. You shouldn't put it out or you should. not Here's the thing. You should be like, at least address it. They act like everything's great. Like there's, you wouldn't know. Well, here's the, here's the even... biggest problem I have is there's no communication, dude. It's over with communication with these guys. Like they don't talk. They don't come. Like I don't, I haven't heard them say anything about any of this stuff. It's only the community community reps that have to like decipher and like give us well, all their like, like, damage control and yeah, trying to, trying to save the reputation. Here, here I'll give you, I, I looked this up because I, if you can't tell I'm passionate about this one, fiery man, community check-in dates. All right. January 18th. This is, they were doing a great job. They went January. Then there was February 29th, a huge community check-in then April 18th. Since then, nothing dude. That is so it's been since April since we had a community check-in. That's nuts. I hope. I mean, I'm like, <laughs> well, I hope you're right. It's been a long time regardless, even if that date's not exactly correct. But the funniest thing is like during those times, things weren't great. Like there were a lot of bugs with the game, but dude, if, here's the thing. It felt so much more alive back then because you had these check-ins. They told you they were working on it. We were seeing updates and now it's like nothing. Well, dude, they put out like hands of Maria and then it was like, since then, it's been bad. Like they, the, the, what do you call it? The anniversary update was so bad. Like there was nothing to a blood moon map and some skins and it was bugged out and they made us wait a weekend to fix it. And there's no, and it's kind of like, whatever, like, yeah, just wait till the week. And then once it's fixed a little bit, it's not even like totally fixed. There's still so many issues and it's kind of like, whatever, like there's no communication of like, What's going on? Like, what you're going to do now? Like, we have no idea what their plan is other than we have this, we've paid now for a content pass that they're going to provide what another killer and victim. I don't even remember what exactly Who, was in it. But that's within five months though, or something. It didn't tell like, I think it ends in February. Right. And it's like, dude, I'm getting to the point where I'm like, dude, I'm sick of like waiting for this stuff and not getting any communication. Now, I'll play the devil's advocate. It's not totally lost though. Because if they came out with a great update for Halloween, I think you'd be back in. Well, I, I dude, I'll be what back if they in. Dropped, what if they dropped a chop top in Halloween with yeah. a with a Halloween inspired map? I, it still would annoy me because it's like, why aren't you guys talking about it? Because they're running people out. People aren't sticking around. No, no. Well, and I will say this. I By would the love, way, that, that's never going <laughs> to yeah, happen. I was going to say, I would love that. I Here's the thing. I used to be, like I've said this before, I used to be optimistic and I'd, I'd say, okay, they're going to come out with something great. They're working on this stuff. I know they are. They've said it. I've lost that now where I, I honestly just don't expect anything for Halloween. Maybe we'll get something little, maybe one map will be orange instead of <laughs> red now. I mean, here's the thing. When they do an update, I'll still play. It's not like I'm saying I'll never play this game. I'm just not going to be like playing all the time, waiting for this stuff or hoping in like expecting here's the thing they've promised a lot of stuff that they just have not delivered and that like the whole fact that we're still stuck in 99 when it's been almost a year since they told us hey hold on we're working on it like trust us it's like this game is going to be dead before you ever have any, any more progression like it's supposed to be built in like that's what they tease that they're going to be working on people thought maybe in-game currency or just unlockables tied to leveling up it's like, dude, where is this? Like, that needs to be in the game now. We'd all be playing it a lot more. Yeah, I don't even know when or if that's coming. That's the thing. I I'm honestly just... don't, because I used to be like, they're for sure going to do it. I don't even know anymore, because it's it's becoming a thing to where I'm like, when are they going to stop working on this? Well, it's it's that's the thing. You, when they don't talk about it anymore, it makes you wonder, like, are they? Is this even a thing they're doing? Yeah, are they? Do they already have a different IP? They're already working on a different game now. You know, you just start wondering. Because here's the what killed me is Rush Week when it did not perform. I get it. Here's let me just say this: if you liked it, that's totally fine. My opinion, it is not fun, and I don't think it has lasting potential. Maybe if they totally change the way it works, yes, yeah, dude, it doesn't. Well, because let me say this though, real. Oh, well, you know, I actually wanted to say this about Johnny. One thing that I was just thinking about when you played Friday the Thirteenth, I like to compare the two. When you played Friday the Thirteenth as Jason, you had that little like I don't know what a that little. Uh, icon or the little box down to the right where you had all your abilities, right? You had the four different abilities. You had like the, the transport fast or whatever, the warp thing, 
or whatever. I forget what other abilities you had, but that type of thing would be fun in this game where Johnny, if you could see all his abilities and you could choose which ones to use at different times, and they had cooldowns. Wouldn't that be more fun? And then give him a, a different way to play it. And you'd be more strategic with how you're playing with him. Like maybe you have one where you're sensing the victims, but then, and again, that should alert the victims to let them know what's going on too. That would be fun. And that'd be a different way to play him. Instead of what we currently got is like, hey, that Johnny that's in the other game, we're just going to copy paste him in here. And that's what you're playing now. Yeah, no, you're 100% right. That would be way more fun. And it's not even intuitive. Like when you're playing it, I don't even know when you get certain uh, up upgrades. You know what I'm saying? I, like, I, bro, I went through the tutorials. It doesn't even really explain. That's what I'm saying. But if you had like a thing, you know, a visual representation of when you could see when that's going to come up, at least, at least that would be a little bit better. But I like the, when you're playing a killer, it's fun to be able to switch through different abilities. So you play and then you could decide how you want to play the killer. There's nothing like that with Johnny. Yeah, it's called adding like depth to a game, you know? Yeah, yeah. And well, this one has none. <laughs> well, and that's a, so we mentioned people DCing as Johnny. I also think part of the big reason is that he's just not fun to play. No, I'd rather play as, uh, the co ed than Johnny. Well, yeah, I mean, outfits alone. I mean, come on. Uh, all right we'll end with one last comment and i think it's fitting for the way we've been talking <laughs> this is by okay personality 547 i'm losing hope in this game i've played this game since launch and i genuinely love the game and i've always had high hopes for it but ever since the disaster that was the anniversary i've been losing hope for this game man this sounds like we wrote it <laughs> would it be funny it was just my alt account or something yeah. <laughs> Like we do love this game, man, and it's like it's frustrating. So we can't we can't ever get one match or sorry, we can't ever get one patch that doesn't break something else. And we're being told not to expect hot fixes, even though they promised they would between patches if needed. Like grappling grappling's still broken. Okay, endurance is bugged once more. Grandpa's back to his original state. Another big thing is the doors. Uh there's a lot to talk about here. Uh how do you mess up the doors? Let's not forget the insane lack of content. As the last new content we got was, sorry, I cut off and I didn't put the rest Whatever. of it on. Every patch seems like it breaks more than it brings. Well, and they mentioned all this stuff that's broken. That's a good point. It's like, I don't even realize what is broken anymore. I just realized the game is just kind of in a bad state. Dude, maybe we'll just be like angry game ranchers. We started off so positive and we're just getting so jaded. Well, sometimes I like just, just being real. <laughs> yeah. Not that we weren't real before. I just try to be positive about things. And now it's like, I've just gotten so frustrated. It's like, I'm not even going to try anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired too. Like yeah, this week, I'm not trying next week. Maybe we'll be more positive. I think we've been on a pretty hard, like grind of content stuff. Well, we've been doing dude. when you're doing Well, especially though, when you're doing content about a game and it was dude, here's what's so frustrating. It's so good. The game on its own is so good, but they've totally fumbled it. And it's like, I don't, I'm with them. I've totally lost hope. I don't know that they're going to like this game's going to last a whole lot longer. I don't know that it's going to get a lot better. I'm still have a little bit of optimism. Like maybe if they can get that skill, you know, if they get uh, unlockables tied to your level, so where you can get past level 99 and earn things, that's a possibility. But now I'm like, even if that comes, what's going to break when they do that? Dude. I mean, <laughs> yes, that would be huge. That'd be huge, huge, huge. The problem is like that legit has been almost a year that they've said they're working on it. And ever since then, there was a post. And again, we talk about it in our other video. So if you haven't check out the video we just released, but they talk about it and like, Oh, it was like they, they announced they're doing it or working on it. Then it was like three months later, Andy, somebody asked Andy in the Reddit comments about it. And he's like, it's still like under development. And then it was somebody replying to that comment now and it's been almost a year where they're like, are you still working on it or what? You know? Well, let me tell you too. This is how these things work as a developer. When people like, so you have Andy as a community manager, he's not going and asking the development team each time people come up with these questions. He just knows like they he, oh, probably all as he knows is like, yeah, I see that they're working on it. It's on their list of things. I don't know what state it's at, but I just, I'm just going to relay, relay it to you guys. That is something they're working on. You know what I'm saying? That's how that works. Yeah. So it's like, it's not like he has insider information where he's going and like asking in depth each of these questions. Dude, I'm like seriously wondering though, like does Wes and them, like, are they, do they have like a plan of like what they're doing? And I'm, I'm sure they do, but it's again, it's like, why did you guys stop doing community updates? 
I would love. Yeah, that's a good point. I would really love to know, like, a, like on the real, what the plan is, because, like, you know, he, he, they're smart. They're a business. They they're projecting, you know, how long they're going to stick with this game. I want to know: Are you really planning to stick with it, like, next year, or are you already thinking about what's next? What's the next game? I'll probably play it, whatever. <laughs> oh no, no, I'll play. I like the studio. I mean, they just they've just totally screwed up this development with this game. And they've kind of just let it sunset. Well, I don't know. It just seems like it has As so now, much. It could change. I could easily change with a big. A good yeah, update. I know. Now you switch to where you're like, <laughs> it's over. I mean, if they're if they are working on things behind the scenes, I think like best case scenario, yeah, they're working on that skill increase with the with like some type of either in game currency or unlockables, and they just drop that with a new map and stuff like. And new and have chop top and oh, dude, there's oh, definitely way TCM two IP. Like, boom, like that's like, okay, they've been sandbagging us. They're on it. The problem is I have zero faith in that because they stopped talking to us. And then it just makes me think if like, as you see, like communications going well, they're dropping a lot of updates and then it's like, oh, they're not doing as many updates. Updates are broken and they've stopped communicating what's going on. Well, I like to think about this. Like it's a relationship. If you're in a relationship with someone and they just stop calling you back. Maybe they're not coming over at all anymore. What does that mean? The relationship's coming to maybe, an end. <laughs> maybe they're seeing someone else. <laughs> yeah. The only, the only time you get to talk, even communicate through them is with a friend yeah. via Andy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Andy's the friend's like, I don't know. Hey, if she's-, she's, she's still into you, man. I swear. <laughs> she's, she's just working on herself right now. <laughs> she's going to get back to you. <laughs> That's so good. Oh, that is so good. All right. I think we got in on that. All right. Special thanks to all our members. You guys are the best, man. Like when we're in times like this where we're a little bit down, the membership keeps us. We need each other. (laughs) So we appreciate having all you guys listening. Like, subscribe, leave a comment if you could, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.